All right then, so let's continue on. Let's see what, uh, you know, old man is basically up to then. All right, so let's have a look around. Control center, mechanisms. Only a specialist could understand any of this. I don't understand a thing about these mechanisms, machines. I better not touch anything. It's just wires and bits of scrap metal. I better not break this thing. Technology has advanced a bit since my last mission. Huge wings, symbolic of endless flight. What for? Not much use for me at the moment. That seems difficult. Alright, well, it seems the thing I want to basically look at is the control center here, so let's just have a look around. This enormous machine! It must be where he controls everything. I reckon there's everything I need in this machine. Let's see what you're hiding. So enter the password. What could a password possibly be? Money? There's no M as a thing, right? So it looks like it's six letters. The Stanislaus Ra is playing a immense, um, immense industrial expansion in the first town. Time I've seen Dune do that. I have to destroy his office, this tower, and kill Rob without delay. Maybe I might be able to get some hints here. Icarus, maybe? That might beat it. It seems a little silly to, like, you know, call it that, but it might be it. Oh, there we go. Hello, Mr. Rob. Please present your eye. I need the eye of Mem as well. Darn it, I never thought of that. An alarm? Good God. Somebody's coming. That can only be Ra. I'm not ready for him. Too bad, I'll have to confront him unarmed. Well, let's confront him unarmed then. Open sesame. Well, what am I supposed to do here at this point? Do I have to just wait for him, I guess? Yeah, I guess that's the idea. It's like, you know, this is basically telling me I have to wait for him. There we go. The elevator opens. And he's got a weapon, a bazooka by the looks of it.
He fires a rocket at, uh, the Apostle. And I die, apparently. Alright, so basically I've got a time loot here before I die. Well, what can I take basically to prevent, protect myself from the rocket, I guess? He asked a question, by the way, it's like, what am I supposed to do here? I do have a screwdriver, I might, might use that for something, I guess. Alright, so looks like it's the same thing if I, like, you know, don't stop him in time. So, what do I use the screwdriver on as a thing, right, I guess? Oh, there we go. Use the screws basically on the sign up here. Let's hope this has some use. So he comes in a door with the bazooka. It's a little bit different this time because basically he's firing a bazooka at me, but... The rock exploded at point blank range. He's a real mess. But he survived by taking on his demonic form. I've got to finish him before he gets up again. Well, we gotta take the hand, I guess, and escape. I promise the lady I prepared a fate worse than hell for you. Beep beep. Is what the the power is over, scum? Shit! Splat! Hee 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 hee! You're still laughing, mammon. Ho 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 ho! Crazy nutcase. Who cares? He's done. I'm gonna destroy this Russian towel. Wipe out all all your plans. That's what you think, smart guy. I never will take my place. Dan Nutter, Dan Nutter. Don't I just know it? I've been doing this for two million millions. Two millenniums. I'm not speaking about demons, I'm speaking of humans. The spawn will keep asking for more. They want it all for themselves, honors, powers, money. Even you. They'll put you away if you, if they're tempted with what they want. The prison, the savior. Ah ha ha, how ironic. It's just a matter of time. Exasperating. Crushed under his elevator on the point of death, and he's still still plenty of evil inside left inside. You don't think I'm used to your lies? Arg, I may have lost this time. But wait. I have no wish to perish under this thing. I I'll make you a deal. I'll tell you all I know I want all you want to know about tea. 
everything. That's it, keep talking. Right to the end, you keep on trying. You're trying to get me to clutch at straws here. Looks like you're, you, you'll, you'd lie to cover your tracks. Hee 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 hee. It was true then, you've got some nerve. Fuck, I'll die. Come on, hurry up. I got plenty more fish to fry. Arrgh. Hmm. Did you think I was a beginner? I know very well you're faking it. We're missing the light in a big blue flash. Hee hee hee. I, I almost had you. Would you like me to fish you off a screwdriver? No, it's coming. Swish. At last, it's so tiring dealing with these monsters, really. And unfortunately, in a couple of years, you'll be back. Right, let's torch this place now. Alright, so this Mammon. Let's see what his eye basically had to serve for us here. His soul has disappeared, only his bodily envelope remains. He's stuck in the elevator door, I can't budge him. I have the body of Stanis Ra at my disposition now. There's still something I need. Well, let's try opening up the door, I guess. Mamma is dead. I have, destroyed a I have to destroy a tower now. Of course, there's no big button marked abort. I'll have to use my wits instead. I've only got the screwdriver left, apparently, so... It's getting a little bit buggy here, so let's just go back and like fix this, I guess. This is eyeball. His corrupted um, his corrupted look is still visible. I scan accepted. Welcome, Mr. Ra. All right, so cloakroom messages and management. Let's turn off the alarm at this point. Oh, it's locked. So he's basically off in a couple places here, I guess. That's one good deed done. You've been greatly missed, my beauty. So we always got ourselves our weapon back. Memo to all personnel. As you may be already be aware, we have started certain alterations to the building, and also that the subcontractors have made several cock-ups. The gas supply has been cut off to the archive department at the as the slightest spark could, could cause a fire. They have also made a mistake of reversing the electric current um, circuits of the Polta Barrow and Archives. In short, no entry till for your notice. Alright then, so... Oh, I have to unlock it first. All right, there we go. So this is some sort of puzzle, obviously, right here. Um. It looks like a memory game of some sort. Hmm. All right, interesting. I 
accidentally hit that again. There we go. We uh, got it. So now we can basically, you know, do what we want to right here, I guess. All right, so the gas supply has been cut off to the archive department as a slight spark could cause a fire. So the archive. And he also made a mistake reversing the electro associated curses of the Pultiboro and the archives. So what is the idea here, I wonder? I put it all back together ne nearly. Let's hope it works. Maybe I should turn the lights on. Bingo. In a few minutes, this tower will be a huge bonfire. I just have to take the elevators down. What a fool. I'll have to find another way out. Well, how do we get out of here is a thing. All right, well, it's nothing for me to do here, I guess, so... Huge wings, symbolic of endless flight. What for? There we go. We're gonna fly like an angel, I guess. We're here live for the special edition to report on a terrible fire that's broken out of Rock Corp building. A fire that has, um, that has, at the same time, damaged the town hall and studio of BBL News. Stan Ra, along with multiple local personalities, have tragically been caught in the flames. At the time, the final election debate was taking place this very evening. Rock Bork Liberation Front terrorists are thought to be likely, um, are most likely suspects. Any information that could help the investigation will be rewarded by the police. This is Sarah Silverman for BBL News. Crack! Tap, tap, tap. Bling! Bart! It's Bart. Um, who lives upstairs? Eh, I have no idea. It's empty, isn't it? In any case, it's always looked like it was. I have a rough landing. Oh, so all that noise was you. I thought a bomb had gone off above the shop too. I was really scared. A bomb? Haven't you seen the news? The Rock Corp buildings has been set on fire. Oh, that. That was me. What? Are you crazy? Cool it, cool it. Let me explain. So the man manor house. The dead, like, you know, widow. The, you know, the last living descendant. Mammon. The golem. The, uh, you know, the boss. The other candidate. You know, the demon. Moderating. The plan. The demon dying. The fire. Unbelievable, so Stannis Ross was a demon. I always thought there was something suspicious about him. But at the same time, everybody said he was great, so well. I see. Looking back, it's true that after the crisis, Rockport was the ideal place to set up shop. Of course, everybody blamed the grand families of the town when they really had nothing to do with them. But his limitless ambition, doesn't that strike you as a bit odd for a demon? Yes, I know their ways. There are things they do and things they don't. Evil as they are, they don't need to be um, too big a sphere of influence. They feed on the vice and decay of the system, where everything's corrupt. Wait, feed on vices? I know it sounds odd. It's difficult to understand from a purely material perspective. Er, 
Is that a bit like being satisfied? For example, if I win something after a lot of training? That satisfaction after an effort nourishes me in a way? It's a bit like that, like energy, but mental. It's just an image to us, but it's literally food to them. They revel and feast at the sight of the world sinking into chaos. After that, each demon has, in some way, his own specialty. Asmodeus likes to soil purity. Mammon likes to make a profit from sentimental values, etc. Wow, that's crazy. But wait, why did Mammon try to take over so much if it wasn't necessary? That guy's been here again. Okay, we'll discuss this later. For the moment, I have to continue my investigation. Oh yes, have you found anything about Ludwig Merrow then? A little, but not as much as I hoped for. Nevertheless, that's the real mystery. That blue flash. If someone came from another dimension, then which one? And especially, who and why? I'm going to take a look at the point of impact. Maybe I'll find some clue. I'm scared. Take care, Bort. Vic, it's Bart, for heaven's sake. I'll make you tattoo it on your arm if you keep forgetting. No, I've got the shakes to think about it. The shakes? Hmm, but... Why, I've only noticed you haven't gotten, gotten any tattoos, how come? Uh, oh, um, well, it's... Nothing, it's silly. Silly? Yes, yes, come on now. You're here to save the world. Why don't you want to tell me? Eh, there's no time, the demons are... You can tell me. But it's embarrassing, I... Good grief, out with it. I haven't got all night. I promise I won't laugh. It's just that... I'm afraid of needles, and... <laughs> Bastard, you promised not to laugh. I'm just teasing. I was expecting something a lot more tragic. Here, needles? That's cute. How come you chose this profession? On other people, it's okay. I don't know why. It's the same for me, with swords. I prefer to, I prefer to giving than to receiving. Besides, I still have parcel to deliver. See you later. Be careful. Alright, so, do you have anything to say? Nope. Current objective. I'll have to investigate the point of impact where Lubbock Merrill fell after a suicide attempt. Let's hope there, there are some other indications. Alright, so, we took out Mammon, and we took out Asmodee. D. I'm gonna guess the Bell's probably next, because, like, you know, order things, by, by, by the way. Alright, so, Mammon is dead, along with his expanding empire. The T character is working in the shadows to provide them with limited means and an unusual amount of ambition. Actually, is there anyone, you know, anyone here called T or something like that? Could be, like, you know, Satan, but who knows. Well, let's go to the body of Ludwig. The drunk is still there, by the way. Uh, I think I went the wrong way here, so... Let's go up here. That guy's still sleeping. Let's get up over here. The cop is gone, so we can go down here now. So, we got a homeless guy, we got the pit, we got the impact. A strange place, like a huge ex evacuation zone. It's impossible to get the grating open. It looks like the entrance to the sewers. This place seems forgotten. These poor people are obliged to live a life of misery. Perhaps I can gather some information. Maybe he saw what happened. I have to hurry. Apparently there's nothing left here but blood. The body's been removed for now. Certainly. And I can't see anything in the vicinity. 
Great. I better go ask the witness what they've seen. Nothing worth picking up here, Blast. I thought I might notice some small details around here. Hmm. Nothing no worries, sadly. There's nothing of interest to, just, uh, to speak of. Let's look elsewhere. Good evening. Can I ask you a question? Is it about the suicide? That's it. I saw you examine the point of impact. Look, I'd like to know if what's been said about the bias true. He was totally flattened, if that's what you're you're asking. There's a lot of suicides around here. You don't say. But usually, they're not mashed up like this guy. This time, all that was left was skin, blood, and hair. Besides, it wasn't the impact. It was very strange suicide. Above all, just before, there was a great noise and a sort of blue flash. I've already heard that. So it was true. Well, at least I'm consistent. Was there any other details? An object, perhaps? Hmm, I don't know. But you don't look like a cop. Exactly. In fact, I don't trust them. I understand. I've been rotting in this hole for years. Living around here, it's like you're already dead. I see. Wait, there's something, maybe. With these suicides, the corpses are pillaged real quick. Your grief. This time, two guys fought over his jacket. It was the type of jacket, you know, with a purple lining. A purple lining? Yes, I don't remember which brand, but it was an expensive one. I don't know if you're interested. Maybe. Where did he go? Down there, toward Gehina. Gehina? The slums of Rotbork. I hope for your, for your sake, he's not hiding down there. Otherwise, you can forget the jacket. Cough, cough, cough. At least if you value your life, that is. It couldn't be more simple, evidently. I'm going to have to get my hands dirty again, it seems. One gets used to it, you'll see. Thanks a lot, old man. Good luck to you. So, it appears Love of Mero's jacket has been taken to the slums of Rockbork. I must get my hands on it, um, by, um, on what, on it by whatever co the cost. So we go down here, I guess, to the slums. Very car. The guy has converted this old car into a bed. It's his refuge here. I won't disturb him. This guy seems to have a better use for it than me. It's the end of the road, little car. Piled up garbage cans. Nothing much of interest. It's nothing useful at first sight. I'm not going to be going looking in there if I can help it. The natives aren't very talkative. The homeless try to keep themselves warm by the fire. I doubt they'll be able to help me. What a life of misery. I have to find whoever stole Love and Merrill's jacket. Don't deceive sin. Hanged man. These poor bastards were strung up right here. This place gives me the creeps. Out of respect, I'll just leave them alone. I won't make use of these guys. May they rest in peace. Who did this to you for good god? Don't deceive sin. A warning. It's noted. Not a very encouraging sign. We'll see. So pray man. A guy on his knees. Let's see what he's doing. Hmm, what's this guy up to? I haven't done anything. What? Oh, so you're not one of the sin. Uh, no, you're mistaken. Phew, I was afraid. What were you doing, praying? Yes, but don't say anything, okay? I must have missed something. What are you afraid of exactly? One of these hang hanged was my friend. I was praying for him, but if the Sin guys saw me, I'd suffer the same fate. The Sin guys? You're not from Rupwork. Sin's a local gang that picks up the, all the bumps and delinquents. My friend was down and out, he joined him. A gang, interesting. What made him join them? 
Wait. I don't want to raise my voice. It's not just a gang, it's a sect. They have a whole ideology behind them to suck in vulnerable folks. They give them security first of all, money, recognition, a new family and all that. Once recruited, they indoctrinate them with superstitions. My friend told me all. And that's what happens to those who try to escape. You see, I just wanted to say goodbye to him. I understand. I'm off. Those guys come past this way all the time. I'm getting out of rock work. They're spreading like the plague. And I advise you to do the same. Hmm, thanks for a tip. Alright, so. We have like a suck type of like, you know, um, gang here. Who might do the suck type of thing? It might be Lucifer. I don't think it's probably Belzebub or probably not Bell either. It's probably not Satan because he's like, you know, a pervert of like, you know, what's virtuous, so. Not his, like, you know, his, like, type of thing. We might be f um, upgrading Slucifer at this point, we'll see. So, what's over here? The foundations of Rotbork is massive. There won't be anything to pick up later. I'll have to make use of it. what's here. There's no way to get past from below. What an echo. I can't get through this way, damn. Let's see how to get... Hey, but it's... You again. Of course. Where else can I go? Ha ha ha. Um, you're just what I need. I want to get across. Would you mind giving me a helping hand? Another helping hand? You don't say. Yes, is there any kind of rope near you? Um, well yes, there's rope behind me. Would you pass it to me? Pass it to you? Ha ha ha. What? It'll only take a sec. You can leave afterwards if it bars you that much. Aha, I'd love to. But you keep catching me up. I catch you up? Hey, I'm not following you. It's only by accident if... You're driving me mad. I'll leave you to think about it in your pit. Hey, that's enough. Help me, damn it. Come back. But what's he up to, this guy? Blast it. I'll have to find some way of getting across on my own. Alright, well. It's impossible to get through like that. I'm going to have to improvise. Alright, well. In order to get like past this puzzle, we'll have to basically get some like, rope or something. Well, I guess we have to leave these guys alone. We can't take the rope. A pile of garbage cans, nothing much of interest. Well, nothing there to basically pick up from. Alright, well, I've got to find some clue about the death of Ludwig Merrill first. Alright, so what I need is basically here already, okay? So, hmm. My inventory is empty, so I have to basically find something to pick up, I guess. You know, this is something I like about this game, by the way. In order like, to prevent people like, from like going too far away from like, where you need to go, at least it'll try to like lock you into an area to basically get what you need done. A steering wheel. Hmm, great idea. Well now, that's look that looks like um, what I've been looking for. They're gonna be very handy. You try not to wake him if um I'll try not to wake him if I can. 
You can't tell if he's dead or just asleep, besides. Well, I doubt he missed this. Alright, well, we got the steering wheel. What do you do with the steering wheel? That's a good start. I need some rope or something like that, right? So. I wonder if I can interact with the bodies now. Do I get the rope from like their bodies? Yep. What? The rope? Wait a sec. Where's the hang guy gone? I smell the rat. Oh, there's actually a guy missing there. Try and grab him, but of course we can't. You know, I think this game would have been better if it had, like, you know, like some sort of, like, you know, action sequence, like, you know, you, you basically participate in, where you're, like, you know, in this, like, participation type of thing, but whatever. My talisman, filthy monster. It looks like that was his target. That's impossible. No, it must have been just an accident. At least I hope so. Alright, so, we took the rope from, like, the hand guy here. But yeah, it looks like one of the hand guys here is, like, you know, not dead. But whatever. Right, let's combine these items. So, rope, it was, um, it was the hand guys before he attacked me. At least I can use it to get across the ditch now. So, steering hook. It's a novel type of grappling hook. We have a steering wheel. I call it the steering hook. So we throw it over, and we get over. Well, now we can get across if we need to, I guess. Alright, what's happening over here? There's a kind of fence to stop them going back to rock work. If I need to get out of here, I won't be going out that way. A wire fence, like in a zoo. Not very welcoming. There's a house. Corrugated iron shacks thrown together anyhow. I'm beginning to get some measure of the misery of this town. I never thought there were sums like this in rock work. What is this place? So we got ourselves the Garros. It's the guy on the Exponade with his gang. I wasn't expecting to see him here. These guys might be useful to me in eventuality. Wait, it's the guys from the Exponade that asked me to join them. Good grief, why didn't I think of it sooner? It's them, the Sing Gang. I'll bet their den is located somewhere in these slums. Um, wait a minute. The way they operate is just there's a demon behind all this. Duh. You already knew this, probably. I might kill two birds with one stone if I found a jacket. Hmm. What if it infiltrated their gang? It's always a bit tricky, but I'm starting to get used to this method. Hey, this reminds me of the fall of Rome. What mission that was. When I poison an entire banquet of corrupt senators? Bart, cough, cough, go and fetch some water, please. Aha, those were the days. Good. If I'm careful, this should work out okay. Hello! Look who's here. It looks like our friend's changed his mind. Um, it could be. I was curious if you offer still holds to join a group, all that. Ah ha ha, of course, wise decision. You don't exactly look like a choir boys. But on my own, I might get into trouble. Here at least I feel like I'm useful. 
So welcome to the club. Okay, well, we're not going to walk you among the trash cans, right? Follow us, we'll take you to the house. Hmm, okay. Alright, so... We're going to take him deep into the slums, probably. I assume. Third act, into the lion's den. Alright, perfect, we're into the next act. Well, here we are in the Lair of Sin. Welcome. Charming. From now on, this is your house. This is your home. If you get hungry, there's always something to eat here. We have an infirmary too, games and a gym. As well as a shooting range. Quiet places to sleep and central heating, etc. Oh, and of course, there's also a room full of girls. You mean, at my disposition too? Yeah, you got it. Haha. -ha. We've got everything here. You sold me now. I wasn't expecting all this. And... Would you have a library? Ah ha 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 What a joker. I reckon you'll get along just fine with us. Without a shadow of a doubt. Good. But all of that will have to wait until you're officially part of sin. Officially? There's a ritual. A kind of um, initiation. You'll see nothing too freaky. However, I'm busy now. You'll have to wait a while. In the meantime, take a look around. Talk to the crew. Make yourself at home. After all, it's already home for you. Um, alright. I'm going to take a good look around, from top to bottom. That's it. Perfect. See you soon. And you guys, be real friendly with him. Understood? Right you are, Chief. Alright, so... I have a free pass to wander and check the place out. Let's put it to good use. So, who likes to make like you know, um, you know, Gary like cross and stuff like that as a thing, right? It could be Lucifer because like he seems to like you know, fanatical crowd type of person, but you know. I could be looking at it wrong, basically, if, like, you know, how you basically operate here. It could be Baal. Alright, so that basically leads out. A martyr list. In all role of martyrs, the members of the sin who died for the cause. I'm not interested. These poor bastards died for sin. What a morbid farce. A makeshift ca um, canonization. After all, a living crime, it's shameful. Standard flag. The sin standard flag bears a democ seal, in case I was still in doubt. It would make a nice doormat, I think. I have to find the leader of his gang. I'm going to deal with these murderous pack of thugs. Can I actually tell like the democ sign from any of the, like, the stuff up there, I guess? So... You know, not that the Demox signs, but apparently, like, you don't have, like, you know, an image based on any of, like, the demons themselves, so. Probably not. A large vat with something bubbling inside. I don't see what I can do with this. I can't see any use. It's warm in here, isn't it? A sort of altar with lots of small objects, some common and some unusual. I can't see anything useful amongst this lot. Hmm, I don't know what to do with this. What's this? Pigeon holes, with all sorts of things inside. It's not mine and it doesn't look very interesting. I haven't got any um, my own pigeon hole yet. I'm not in a hurry. I, I put things in wooden boxes too. Alright, well, there's two doors and there's these guys as well. 
But I guess I can't talk to him yet, so... The test room. A test room? It's closed. Damn it, my mouse is like going wonky, but whatever. Door won't bush, it's locked. It'll be my turn soon. I can hear some um, someone pacing about in there. Pickled heads. Trophies. These guys have some kind of imagination. Totally useless. As a decoration. Too late for the mouth to mouth. One of the members of this happy team. Let's be cautious and not give the game away. Here's something interesting. Hi there. Hi, the newbie. Welcome to to your new home. It's me on duty at the moment. If you're a bit hungry or need anything, give me a shout. How'd you get here? How did you get here? Oh, that's a long story. To cut a long story short, I was an army officer. Then I shot a superior. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Near was I, to tell the truth. He said something disagreeable about me in front of everybody. Something that was meant to remain between the two of us, you see. I hope I misunderstood. In short, with that on my record, it was difficult to find a normal job. I would have thought so. But since chose me, and now I open my open to my destiny. Today, I found a certain dignity, an order, and a hierarchy. And now, at least, I'm not putting my ass on the line for a top brass. Here, it's as if I'm protecting my own family. Yes, I see. Well, I better not dwell on it. I saw a guy strung up on the way here. I saw some guys hanging on a rope on the way here. It didn't look like they got that way by themselves. Ah, yes, I see what you mean. But that's not us, hey? What? For my part, I was convinced that... I mean, it wasn't really us. We've only been enacting the will of sin. You see the difference? The difference, yes. Folks got totally crazy and said we'd become a sort of sect. A sect, haha, what a crazy idea. We had to deal with them. The boss said they were possessed by demons. Ha ha ha. How ironic. The boss seems to have a way with words. Who pays for all this? I was wondering who pays for all this. Oh, is this a quiz? Um, I suppose it's with the booty from my mission, our missions. Your missions. Yeah, we don't hang around here and play Scrabble. We have to dazzle the world of our splendor of sin. What the, what's that mean? And that means? Well, fine recruits like you, for example. We have a small business too. A bit of a crack here and there, taking care of our, our outlets. Keeping the cops busy during deliveries, that kind of thing. And then reminding the public not to get in the way of our business, see? I see. Saving the poor widow and child. After that, there might be some dough that comes from elsewhere. The boss knows a lot of people. Well, well. I'm off. Okay, see ya. Oh, by the way, I've got your sword. You can pick it up when your initiation's over. Got you. So he's got my sword. Good to know. First aid post. A first aid post that takes organization. I haven't scrapped my knee, not yet anyhow. They're not just a bunch of dumb ruffians. They take precautions. There must be some big brain who takes care of all these guys. Alright, we're probably going to end it here in a moment, but... Um, Let's get a lay of the land here a little bit. So we got like guns and stuff here. And it looks like the gang here is gone for a moment, so interesting. Okay, we got slaves and matrons. Interesting. 
Alright, well, we'll basically get to this next time, but for now, I hope you guys basically enjoyed this episode. We killed Mammon. I wonder who else we're going to kill next. We'll see. But we'll find out next time. Take care.